ladies and gentlemen of Little Tokyo, this is the Daily Foods World Gyoza Eating Championship. We are witnessing sporting mastery here today, but I want you to think about that most innocent and humble of things, the Daily Foods Gyoza itself. It is not jealous. It is not judge. It is there for you in hours of victory. It is the perfect food. And today, Major League Eating celebrates that by doing the only thing we know how, which is eating way too much and very quickly. For 10 minutes, it is just nothing but pure energy and excitement. And it's something that you can't really put into words. You have to see it to believe it. What the audience will see today is every one of the 17 men and women on that stage give their all. And I think just as a species and as a culture, that's something that we can be extraordinarily proud of. We find ourselves by the sum of all our paths here today in Little Tokyo in Los Angeles on the 26th of August 2017 for the 11th annual Daily Foods World Gyoza Eating Championship. When I was born, did I think I would be here today? Probably not. But I am here today and I couldn't be anywhere else. Well, the story starts out actually way back in 2006. The then Nisei Week president Hayato Tamura, he saw the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest and decided to see, could we do our own? That's when I get connected with Corey Hayashi. I got a call from Jason Yuno from Daily Foods asking to be a part of the contest and from then on we just started building it bigger and bigger every year. The Daily Foods World Gyoza Eating Championship is a staple of the Major League Eating Calendar. It's a marquee event on our annual slate of sanctioned eating championships. It's very difficult to match the Nathan's Hot Dog Contest because it doesn't really get more American than 4th of July eating hot dogs in New York. But if that's the Super Bowl, we always wanted to be All-Star Weekend. So we always want to make sure we have a great competition. All the competitors love to come down and we've continued to draw one of the best fields outside of the Nathan's Contest. This is a really good contest the way it's run. The atmosphere is good and the food is really good too. It draws the best talent. It's one of the most enthusiastic crowds. This is my fourth year here. I wouldn't miss it for the world. All in all, out of the top 10 eaters ranked in Major League Eating, we've got six competing. It's pretty special. Everyone is most excited about the, the top two guys. Joey Chestnut, who is the greatest competitive eater to have ever walked the earth. I enjoy pushing the guy next to me to the point where he can't eat anymore. That's my goal. And Matt, the Megas Toad Stoney, a YouTube sensation. Gyoza, this is their 11th year. Aside from the, the hot dog contest, I can't name another event that's been <laughs> 11 years strong. So this is a really prestigious event. A lot of competitive eaters fly from all over the country to just be part of the Gyoza event each year. Today's contestants, we have, I believe, six or seven of the world's top 10 eaters here. They've all got one thing on their mind, and that's victory. That's the goal. The most notable competitors are Joey Chestnut, the hot dog eating champion, currently ranked number one. I won this shit this morning. Then we have the number two eater, uh, Matt Stoney. He's last year's champion. He's half Japanese. So culturally, he has a serious connection to this. And plus, he loves our gyoza. I think there's a lot of people that want to win. You know, Joey and I have been the cream of the crop for the past couple years, and I think there's a lot of people that would like to knock us down. The still rivers run deep, and they run no deeper than the great Matt Stoney. I don't care what anybody says. Gyoza is going to be the one contest of the year that I'm going to just be passionate about. I mean, I, I love this competition. Matthew Stoney! 
Matt the Megas Toad Stoney. He has over 3 million followers on YouTube. Really, really brought himself into being a huge name. There's a degree of fascination with what we do. When you tell somebody, yeah, I just ate 384 gyoza in 10 minutes, their jaw drops. You must remember that Matt is going through his three-peat. He's beaten Joey head-to-head -head in this event. A certain contests, he really can push it, and this is one of them. Every contest is just neck and neck. We're beating our own records and just knocking each other out, and Gyoza is no different. Great competitive eater. He pushes so hard. He's really good at making his body do what he wants it to do. I've always been a really competitive person, and I just liked pushing my limits, seeing what I was capable of doing. It was fun for me. This is my seventh year at the U.S. Championship, so this is not unfamiliar territory to me. I, I love this competition. You'll see a man who will give it his all and will do so with great valor and will cast glory upon the stony game in this league. This is home to me right now, the Gyoza Championship, but it's going to be a tough battle, for that's for sure. On the women's side, we have Mickey Sudo coming. Her current eating rank is number five. I always tell people that I didn't choose competitive eating, competitive eating chose me. So I'm ranked fifth with Major League Eating. That's with men and women combined. I'm the top female. It's not really something that you seek out. I just fell into it and it was a lot of fun. The more I participated, the more I realized that I was increasingly successful. So I just, I just ran with it. There was something really empowering about conquering my fears of eating in front of people and testing and pushing the boundaries of my own comfort zone and winning on that stage. I just recently set the uh, world record for ice cream, which was 16 and a half pints in six minutes, which is still really hard for me to understand. Mickey Sudo! Mickey Sudo eats with an elegance that's like watching beautiful BBC nature documentary. She's really good, and I've seen her beat Joey before. She's always difficult, hard, hard to beat. If you look at the top 10, there's really no pattern as to gender, age, weight, size, frame. There's no recipe for a successful competitive eater. Her record speaks for itself. She's the number one ranked female eater in the world for a reason. She's elegant and yet dominant. I've seen Mickey Sudo walk away with a lot of other people's money. It's not a matter of winning or losing. It's a matter of, did I do my best today? I want to leave the stage feeling like I left everything out there on the table. I'm competing against the best in the world. This contest really draws in the best that the circuit has to offer. You know, today I'm facing not just Joey, not just Stoney, but also Darren Breeden, who's been doing great as a rookie. Michelle Lesko, another really formidable female. Jeff Esper, I never underestimate anyone. A big sleeper this year is Jeffrey Esper. He came onto the scene last year. He set the rookie record for us. In his first year, he ate about, two, I think, 243 gyoza, which is more than Matt Stoney or Joey Chestnut ever did in their rookie year. There's a new guy, Jeffrey Esper. This old man can eat. I'm a teacher. I got into competitive eating probably about two and a half, three years ago. And I thought that might be a good time to try one of the restaurant food challenge. So I tried that and I uh, tied for first and that kind of got me hooked. And from there I just kept going and going and here I am. So Jeff Esper is, just goes from strength to strength. I call him confidence personified. He is a man of few words, but they carry great weight. He's in extraordinary physical shape. He's a, he's a power lifter, which I understand means lifting things um, powerfully. So I used to do a, a lot of power lifting. I used to compete. I really can't do that anymore because of injuries. So this is something I can compete at at a high level still. He's been on a tear this year. He won the Hooters wing eating contest, he beat Joey head up, and he's definitely someone who's one to watch. To date, he's on track to, to continue his path to, if not the number one spot, then certainly the top three. He's currently ranked number four in the world. Last year was my first year. I, I got second place. I was, I was really, really happy with that, actually. A really, really good goal for me would be break 300. I like to break 300. Getting the 300 club, that would be a big win for me. He's got incredible power and incredible intelligence in any sport. But the combination of intelligence and power yields powerful intelligence. So 2 o'clock is when our undercards will begin. 
So make sure you're here at that time. Badlands, we got the stage for you, uh, 1.30. There will be some that are gonna be quest to do a little bit. I think of, this uh, year, media. outside of Joey Chestnut, there's really big competition. There's Jeffrey Esper and Darren Breeden, but my eyes will be on Chestnut <laughs> and Joey, because he's gonna be the man to beat. He's got the world record currently. It's Joey Charles Chestnut! I love beating the heck out of these guys next to me. It's so addicting, man. Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. He looks like he's on his way to his 10th title. Joey Chestnut is second only to Springsteen in our family's wow. celebrity pantheon. Wow. There you go. Joey Chestnut will defend his title as the National Buffalo Wing Festival. Big Shrimp Cocktail Championship. Chili Eating Championship. Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. I'm never like satisfied. They always know I can do more. He is ruthless, relentless. He's a powerhouse. In his world, he's at the top of the ladder and everyone looks up. When I started doing this, he was the gold standard. Between Joey and myself, it's a back and forth, neck and neck rivalry. He's won the last two years. Hopefully I can snap his winning streak. It's a really weird feeling knowing that all these competitive eaters, I'm the target and I just have to keep pushing. I was born in New York, but I grew up in Japan. I spent eight years of my childhood in Tokyo. I am truly Nisei, like my father was an immigrant from Japan. This whole festival is dear to me. I'm half Japanese. My grandma was of the Nisei generation. And this contest means the world to me on a personal level. Nisei refers to second generation Japanese American. It's a way for the Japanese American community to come back to our roots in Little Tokyo, as well as share our culture and community with other ethnicities. Daily Foods is very excited to help in growing this festival. Daily Foods has been about the greatest sponsor we can ask for. They've not only provided delicious gyoza that is better than any gyoza I've ever tasted, but they're actively involved in helping us promote, helping us grow, and helping us make this contest even better. Daily Foods donates approximately 7,500 gyoza to the competition. Gyoza is a pot sticker, a meat-filled dumpling, basically. It's one of the staple appetizers out there. It's very easy to eat. It's great either as a side dish, an appetizer, or even great bar food. It's exploded in popularity. We've made our gyoza at Daily, I believe it's since the 70s. So we've been around in this country with gyoza for quite a while. Daily gyoza really are the best gyoza you can get. I've actually become a gyoza connoisseur. I love gyoza. It's one of the reasons why I've attached myself so much to events. I get to choose which events I go to. I get to choose the foods that I love to eat and then compete in those. Dumplings, they just go down so easy. They're delicious, they taste good. Gyoza is good food. Daily makes a nice thin wonton wrapper when I love those types. It's a delicious contest. Coming up on this majestic stage in a matter of moments is the 2017 Daily Foods World Gyoza Eating Championship. There is no bigger stage uh, in all of world sports. You are here to witness history today, ladies and gentlemen. You will talk to your children about this. Their children will talk to their children about this until your family name is in the dust and the last bird flaps its last wings and you and your family are no more. Because I'll soon be joined on the stage by the greatest eaters who have ever lived. I'm talking, of course, about Major League Eating's weapons of mass consumption. They will take to this stage and they will eat as many daily foods gyoza as they can in 10 minutes. 
this is the only heavyweight bout that matters in the world today! Will it be the number one ranked eater in the world, the man with 43 world records to his name, the reigning Nathan's hot dog eating champion of the world, and the man who in 2014 ate 384 gyoza in 10 minutes? Is it Joey Chestnut? It's gonna be a tight contest. Will it be that proud son of the Nisei generation going for his three-peat here today? Will it be the mega toad, Matthew Stoney? When I go up on stage, I'm gonna be nervous, but I know what I'm capable of doing. I know I can go up there and give it my all. Will it be the number one ranked female leader in the world, the living embodiment of Japanese American beauty, the great Miki Sudo, ladies and gentlemen? I'm always the most nervous one to take the stage, I think. I'm always the one that's like panicking and shaking right before an event. Or will it be the great Jeffrey Espa? I'm just concentrating on what I'm doing, trying not to make any mistakes. It's a 10 minute all you can eat buffet. It's limited to one food and one food only, and that's daily foods gyoza. They're served 25 to a plate. Our readers need to finish one plate before moving on to the next. It's just a big adrenaline rush. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And when the clock five, starts, basically, four, three, it's two, go for it. One, let's go! Once the contest starts, then you see the best eaters in the world doing what they do so well, and that's when the atmosphere and the electricity in the crowd just goes through the roof. During the contest, it's crazy. Everybody is rooting for their favorite eater. When the contest begins, it's just the flurry of just you just trying to eat as much gyoza as fast as possible. The first like minute or two, it's like a sprint. The great thing about gyoza is it doesn't have the same technique as, say, ribs, chicken wings, or hot dogs. It really separates the best eaters from the pack. It's usually whoever is in the best form that day will win. This is a capacity contest. This is a fast food, a 10 minute contest, so we, we push the capacity. This is a physical endeavor. This is not simply eating as you or I might understand it. This is a full body, full athletic experience that involves strength, focus, I really don't even look at what the other eaters are doing. I just concentrate on what I'm doing. And around plate three, I'm starting to, trying to get into a rhythm where uh, I'm eating with my eyes closed. Stuff in my face, that's not really my approach. So I'm gonna have to rely on speed over force. And after like three, four, five minutes, you start to slow down. It becomes more of like a grudge match with whoever's closest to you. And you're watching them, whatever I can grab onto that just keep pushing me forward. Just eat more gyoza. You play the game so that we find out where the chips lie. When I hit that seven, eight minute wall, just try to keep going. <laughs> Those last three minutes are tough. That's where the fight is. The fight, I think, is in the last few minutes. That's when your competitive nature kicks in and you just don't let yourself lose.
not happen with 291 gyoza. The great Matt Stoney! I want Esper here, and I want Chestnut here. One of these men ate 317 gyoza in 10 minutes. One of these men ate 377! Your winner of the 2017 World Gyoza Eating Championship with 377 daily foods gyoza in 10 minutes. Joey Tesla! And 317 gyoza for the great Jeff Esper. I thought Stoney was going to bring it harder today, I really did. I can't say I'm not disappointed, but um, Jeffrey Esper and uh, Joey Chestnut, they, they, brought it, they brought it today in uh, third place. It's all right. I feel really good about coming in second. I didn't think I was going to beat Matt, but I think he had an off day. He said he had a slow start. I'll come back next year and uh, put up a higher, bigger number. I wish I had done 10 more, but it's one of those contests that uh, motivates me to push my push to a crazy limit.